What's up? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Sorry we haven't filmed anything in a few weeks. There's uh, really nothing to film. We've just been inside on laptops. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> as, uh, as have the rest of the world. Should yeah. we start walking a bit? So basically, um, we're going to have to go back to Europe. Uh, I think this might come as a surprise to some and not to others. Oh, the exposure is crazy. Yeah, we. I had the objective of going around the whole world without flying. Um, and uh, that didn't really factor in a global pandemic. Um, <laughs> we were originally waiting out in Tbilisi. But um, uh, some of the countries ahead are looking like they might open up in a month. But some of the vital ones, like Kazakhstan, announced a couple of days ago that they're... <clears throat> Um, they are closed for tourism until the 1st of November, which, uh, which really doesn't work for us. Waiting in Tbilisi until November without any... Yeah, we can't really afford to stay here indefinitely. So, um, we decided to go back to the Netherlands, but all the flights that are available are hundreds of euros. Um, or they, uh, they have a layover in countries that are mm, very likely to cancel flights quite often. Yeah, but still very expensive if we go direct to the Netherlands. Yeah. The only ones we could afford were like in about five weeks. And um, that didn't make a lot of sense to us, seeing as we're also paying rent the whole time in the meantime. Yeah, and, and food's not that cheap here. No. Um, you actually spoke to the Dutch Embassy. I did. And they suggested uh, <laughs> the next flight to Poland. And they're like, now yeah, you can go to Poland. Uh, but it costs 800 euro. At least. And uh, we have no guarantee that uh, <laughs> the, yeah. that you can continue. So, so uh, the, yeah. <laughs> the, the flights that they were talking about were um, issued by the government of Georgia because they are flying around picking up um, some Georgian civilians that are strand stranded and so the Dutch embassy told us to take one of those flights because they are um, definitely without any issue and they will fly uh, no matter what because they're not commercial flights so but, but then, yeah the only downside is that it's over 800 euros per and it person. only it only went to Poland so we then yeah. we'd be maybe in the same situation there so we spent the last few days on flight websites giving ourselves headaches, trying to find a cheap way. One option we yeah. thought was going to Vienna and then getting a bus back to Holland. But then, we, then we're like, what if Vienna have a, oh, you need to quarantine rule uh, and lots of different countries have that and you learn a country's rules, but then you need to fly out in three weeks and it, are things gonna get worse or better? So there are a few countries in Europe that have been very relaxed with the rules uh, right now it's the UK, the Netherlands and Sweden and uh, so the cheapest and easiest option for us to get home that we saw was flying into Sweden uh, because yeah going to the UK or Netherlands was, isn't really an option but uh, yeah if you haven't heard Sweden are kind of doing a, 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 a massive social experiment where they're not really doing much about Corona so people have been advised uh, to stay indoors but the majority of the population are just going about daily life just cautiously yes exactly cautiously. and uh, the tourism industry is still letting whoever come in whoever wants to come in can do so although they do advise against non-essential travel but um, in Sweden we know that we can wild camp freely so we are going we were planning to slowly make our way back to the Netherlands um, kind of social distancing in the forests on our way back and uh, we are going to be trying to travel responsibly as much as we can Absolutely. obviously there's always the risk of exposure on the flights but um, staying in Tbilisi until November is a worse option than than risking this fr from yeah. the sound of it and if we get any symptoms or anything like that we're going straight to a hospital uh, yeah we're gonna have a, um, a mini a mini tour um, obviously under exceptional circumstances but 
uh, yeah, we're gonna be flying out on May the 11th and then we'll be mm. riding back to Holland. Yeah, exactly. Straight into the woods. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. See, uh, we're gonna go and pay our rent now. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last thing um, I wanted to mention is the reason why uh, we're traveling. Stop it. Sorry. Because if there was any other way, we would have stayed here. But the reason why we're actually leaving is because uh, we kind of need medical attention that we can't get here in Georgia currently. We've tried. <laughs> and um, just clarifying the reason uh, as to why we're actually starting to travel now. Um, it's very expensive here and we can't yeah. get local insurance. Exactly. We're, we can only get like uh, travel insurance that covers big ass accidents. So Yeah. We've uh, gone above and beyond to try to find anything really that could help us out um, regarding um, insurance, health insurance. But yeah, we like Oscar just said, we can't really find anything decent. As soon as they find out you're a foreigner, they up the price yeah. uh, multiple times over. So it's just not going to work for us. Sadly. No, you have to stay here at least a year or sign a contract for a year in order to get um, somewhat decent prices for healthcare. But, so, we're just clarifying uh, the necessity of our move. And, and I, I need to earn money as well. Yeah. Because of the hospital visits I've had, um, I, that, that was like the last of my money. Um, so, yeah. I've got a kidney stone and the... Uh, um, right. And I've got problems with my anus <laughs> okay. that they didn't quite fix. So <laughs> I need a European doctor to go up there and uh, have a look. He wants to get finger bummed, and nobody wants to do it here. Finger bummed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Butt bummed? <laughs> no. It's actually called a colonoscopy. Is it no, not going to be a child about it? That's when they put Sometimes a anuses camera get broken. <laughs> it's, it's, it's natural. <laughs> anyway. Nadia Tempia, homophobe. <laughs> Bumblephobe. <laughs> anyway. Bye. We're going to be oh. very careful. <laughs> oh my god. Don't let that. <laughs> anyway, we also wanted to say again that we're going to be extremely careful as we're traveling um, because we are very aware of all the consequences and um, obviously about what's going on. So, that's that. We didn't know before Corona. We didn't, like, we stayed inside most of the winter. And then Corona happened and we got to stay inside more. So we've basically been inside a flat for oh, since please. since last November, yeah. Oh. Well we got some daylight lately, so we're doing better. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna look for a job uh, Nadia's gonna get her medical stuff sorted in Holland and I'm gonna eventually go back to the UK I think or look for another country to work in. So mm. If you know of any high-paying job opportunities for someone with no skills, <laughs> give me a kill. <laughs> You've got skills, you just don't have a degree. Don't tell them. Oh, no. uh, okay. My skills include <laughs> being <laughs> willing to work for less than minimum wage. <laughs> includes bring, what bring. not limited to. <laughs> my my CV's in the in the bio. Okay, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>